Now it's time to fit the tail gut to the tail piece. So this length of gut is going to be inserted through these holes and then the ends are going to be lashed off with a piece of this dog spain twine to form a knot so that the uh, piece doesn't slip back through the holes. The other thing I'm going to use is some rosin left over from my varnish from Pinesat project. I'm going to powder it and the purpose of the rosin is to keep all the knots from slipping. I'm starting off by dusting both the twine and the tail gut with a little rosin powder. And now I'm um, knotting the twine on and I'm just kind of doing it as if I'm casting on for knitting. Kind of work the knot down there, cutting off the tails quite close to the knot. There's, um, they're all going to kind of get glued in by the rosin so I don't think you need to leave a long tail on there. And now fusing all the rosin again. Just very briefly in the heat, the stuff melts like it really wants to burn, so it melts easily. And another coat, just for luck. So I tied one of these tail guts about 30 years ago when I was a student. And since then they've invented a plastic one with little screw ends to it and uh, the world has changed you just don't have to do this anymore so this is the first one i've done in 30 years um, i'm sure there's a lot of nuance to it that i have, am not getting yet um, so i've got one end tied i'm inserting it into the holes in the tailpiece and now i've got to decide how long i want it to be um, and the length is actually um, a little critical for the sound as so many things are on the violin uh, the amount of string that you have um, between the tailpiece and the bridge um, that string is actually resonant and uh, that can affect the tone of the instrument so here I'm deciding where I want it to go I want it to be tight onto that saddle there because I've heard that these traditional gut tail guts actually stretch a lot when you first put them on. Um, I'm going to err on the side of making it a little bit too long because um, I'm cutting off the excess here and the excess is not enough to do it again. Um, I've only got one shot, which is kind of amazing. Um, this is the product of uh, the small intestine of one sheep and I only ended up with, with uh, one and a half tail guts. Admittedly, there was quite a lot of wastage because I didn't know what I was doing, but the tail gut to sheep rate is surprisingly low. And here I'm just going through the same dusting, knotting and melting routine as I did on the first end of the tail gut. And here is the Redwood Violin tail gut compared to a vintage version um, where the knots are a lot smaller and tidier. I suspect it may have been tied in the factory and the lashing appears to be gut which would be a good material to use. You would put it on wet and then I imagine it would shrink down very tight. Yeah, you got the tail gut in place. Just putting the strings on. Hope it holds. on, it's holding, it looks very long. I think I may have
have to shorten that but uh, maybe not today the strings are on the violin and you may be thinking that you're about to hear it played but this bridge is made of European maple and that is not going to do for the redwood violin I'm about to take this down to my friend Mick Loveland who runs the local violin shop and he's going to make a bridge out of some good homegrown Pacific Madrone. <laughs> 